Very nice to meet you. It's an honor to have you here with us, Mr. Zara Mehta. Uh, could you just uh, tell us a little bit about what are the specific parameters uh, that the uh, judges used to evaluate this year's competition? You know, I think each judge has his own specific parameters, but I'm sure there's a lot of factors that are common. If you're talking about singers, then obviously the choice of repertoire, the quality of voice, the technique, the presentation, how does the person communicate with the audience, how is the diction, the competition insists that you sing in at least two languages in each round, sometimes three. I mean, in the final round, one of the sopranos sang in Czech, in German, and in Italian. Others sang in French, in English, and German. So, you know, all those factors are important because in the, in the concert stage, if you're on the opera stage, you go to an opera company, you might be singing in, an, a Canadian, in a English-speaking role or an Italian-speaking role or a French-speaking role. So language is important, intonation is important, quality of sound, all those things, you know. It's different for voice than for violin or piano, obviously. So it wasn't a segmented assessment tool, as in each area is evaluated separately, but instead it was more like a holistic uh, assessment where only one mark, uh, a total mark, is assigned for each contestant. And every evaluator will come up with his own way of achieving this holistic mark. Correct. Uh, we have so many Chinese audiences uh, uh, watching and following this competition in China. And uh, what would you say to these um, young musicians or hopeful opera singers um, to promote the Montreal International Music Competition? Look, the Montreal competition uh, this year is voice, next year is violin, the year after is piano. Um, I know that China is one of the countries that is most favorably disposed towards people studying classical music instruments. And so I think it is unfortunate that we don't have any Chinese singers. We have Korean singers. Uh, we had, last year the piano was won by a Japanese. The year before, the violin was won by a Chinese violinist. I think uh, when the auditions are taking place, you should go on the website of the Konkou International de Montréal and register and do the audition to come because the prizes are enormous. And then, you know, it gives you a chance to perform all over the world because the competition is known. Uh, you see these judges, they come from Berlin, Vienna, Germany, United States, London, and they talk about the artists. So all these young people are going to be talked about. 